protest yeah. against uh, militarism. Mm -hmm. The other gate is shut down as well, so we closed uh, both gates. Hooray! Hey. So uh, why is it a good idea to bring your protest uh, to, to, uh, to the Northwood? Well, this is the one of the main communication bases. Right. Uh, as I know, because I, I came here before on a, right. a demonstration several years ago. Mm -hmm. That was against the Trident nuclear submarines, which uh, are controlled, as it were, from from here. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, by uh, uh, radio link. Yeah. So, um, what message do you have? Do you have for the people inside? to your ways of thinking in this nuclear age there's no winners in a nuclear conflict a 
and they're sailing very close to the wind in this Iraq confrontation. Okay, so why, uh, why are we here today? Why are you here today? Shall I look at you? Huh? Shall I look at you on camera? Uh, no, look at me. Uh, okay. Well, we're here outside the Joint Rapid Deployment Force headquarters in North West London, and this is the nerve centre of the current British build-up in the Gulf. So it's from here that orders would go out to bomb Iraq. It's here that the ships in the Gulf are controlled. It's here that any parachuters and stuff would be uh, coordinated from. So we'd come to shut down the base for the afternoon. Okay. So why is it such a good idea to bring a protest here to the base, not to not outside the House of Parliament? Well, we want to, I mean a lot of people don't know about it, that Britain has this rapid deployment force and basically what a rapid deployment force is, is a coordinated armed force for intervening in third world conflicts right. and third world areas. So partly we want to highlight the fact that we've got this and also and one of the things that militaries survive on is, is secrecy they, and coming here we sort of bring them out into the open. Right. And there's going to, you know, if they the current crisis, there's going to be a causal connection from this, this base to the deaths of ordinary Iraqi people. So it's a, I mean, it's not just an important symbol, it's a very, got a very important function. Okay. So, do you have a message at all for the people that are inside, the people that are making the decisions? Yeah, I would say bombing the people of Iraq is immoral, arguably illegal, and will support them if they disobey orders. Okay. okay, hello Andrea. Um, who are you? Where are you? Why are you here? <laughs> Sounds like blind taste. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Andrea and I'm from London and I'm here because I want to oppose what um, Britain is doing in the Gulf at the moment, or right. what Britain is preparing to do. Okay, can you, can you give me a bit of background um, about what's happening at the moment? Um, in terms of the situation um, here in, in Iraq? Well, the way I read it, um, Iraq is, is currently willing to make concessions right. in terms of weapons inspections, um, which would be tied up with the lifting of sanctions, which of course, you know, in the last seven years, sanctions have killed well over a million people in Iraq. Right. Um, far, far more people than were actually killed in the bombing in the first place. And the Russians are brokering these deals, and I think, as far as I can see, the United States and Britain are determined that they're going to bomb. Um, they don't want, don't want to make any concessions, they don't want to negotiate. They just think, we've got to use force, um, and they, they don't want to lose face by backing down at this point. So I think that they are absolutely determined to go ahead and, and bomb the people of Iraq. Okay, do you think there's any sort of hidden agenda behind the, the operations in the Gulf? Oh, of course there is. I mean, obviously, the, you know, we're appeasing dictators all over the world. I mean, there's many, many other people. I mean, Israel has weapons of mass destruction and, you know, it's best friends with the United States. The United States itself has more weapons of mass destruction than anyone else and, in fact, won't let um, UN inspectors into an awful lot of them. And there's this sort of presidential decree that they, they can't be inspected, which isn't open to challenge in any court. Um, so we have our kind of pet dictators, so we're, we're happy to appease, you know, President Tejato and Indonesia, but right. when, um, you know, Saddam Hussein gets uppity, then we, you know, we just have to bomb the uh, living daylights out of the whole country and, and kill thousands of civilians. Okay. Um, and what role do you think that civil disobedience has to play in um, raising, the, uh, raising public awareness about this issue? I think it's really important to, to show that people feel so strongly that they are prepared to take these risks of getting arrested, going to jail, because what's happening is so wrong, it's so, it's so immoral. Um, and I think you know, each one of us here sitting in front of this gate represents many, many more people who, who feel the same way. And it just, just to break that sort of conspiracy of silence and, and that conspiracy of, of just going along with it. And, and I think for us personally too, it's very, very important and empowering to feel that you know, we, we can make a difference and it's important that we're here. Thank you very much. Well, can you not just tell me what you think of the protest up there? Well, I can't answer any questions, mate. You're not allowed to answer any questions. You can't tell me uh, whether you think they're doing the right thing or anything like I that. I can't answer any questions. How are you? How many times you can answer a few questions? No, sorry. No? Okay. Cheers.
Bomb the fuck out of the hood. Sorry, you're doing that with a smile on your face. I don't know if you're actually sort of being serious or not. I didn't quite catch the end of your sentence. As long as it be um, at Whitehall on well, Saturday. Saturday. All right. What's due to happen on the seventh? Sorry. The 17th is being sort of saying it's a sort of interesting day in terms of what they do. Oh, yeah. They were like, the woman in America, America's review back to the Cuban. That's out. But somehow they're allowed to have one. They're nice. Let it go for that. That's the weather's high. If you see it in the paper, it's just two blokes that have.
Ja, ik zie het zo. Ik zie het zo. Ik zie het zo. Ik zie Get back on the path, please. Back on the path, please. Come on, you don't have to. Come on. Keep off the road. 